Okay guys, this is getting silly now. Tom is in ITV's Cavos Weekender. Snaps. It worked. Well, what taste is wrong with? Oh, which one of you manifested Hawaiian shirts? Hello. 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 Welcome to Cavos. Loving the shirts. Loving the shirts. Your name's Tom, mate. Tom? So you're Tom. I'm Liam. Liam, nice, nice to meet you. I'm Lucy. You ready for a party? Right. I wasn't actually aware of this, but someone who watches my videos, Piphead, alerted me in the comments to the fact that Tom has appeared in an episode of Cavos Weekender. He told me which one, and I have subsequently watched it. And yes, he's definitely there with his mullet, glorifying his mullet. He's there, semi partying being Tom, and talking more in one episode of Cavos Weekender than he probably has in the entire series of Big Brother thus far. Are we ready for the night, Cavos? Yeah! Drink up, everyone. That'll calm things down. Now, how would I describe Cavos Weekender? Well, it's quite a highbrow programme. I think if you haven't majored in English literature, you're going to really struggle to understand it. So those of us who are well-read, and have probably studied maybe five to ten Shakespeare plays in great detail, will certainly grasp its narrative and subtle structure and all the different metaphors that are in there and all the things they're telling us about the current state of contemporary culture. But if you don't go for that kind of thing, don't waste your time on this programme, it'll all go over your head because it's simply too highbrow. I suppose a quick way of describing it would be Love Island for trailer trash. I mean, <laughs> less the only way is Essex and more the only way is sex. Not made in Chelsea, more made on a council estate. So now I'm wondering, how many more? How many more Love Island contestants are we going to find on TV shows? Because Tom in this one doesn't look like it was filmed that long ago. He hasn't mentioned it once as far as I know. Obviously we don't know for sure because all the live feeds keep being covered with that stupid bird song. So he could have mentioned it in some of the live feeds, but I haven't heard him mention it on the main show. I don't recall him mentioning it when he first appeared on the show at launch night. So yeah, another contestant who's been on TV, and I'm waiting now for the next to reveal themselves. <laughs> Come on, come on, something's going to happen again. It's got to now. This just cannot be coincidental. Ugh. So the producers of Big Brother quite clearly did their research and decided, you know what, we're going to have people on this show who've been on TV before. Because this surely cannot just be, oh, quite by accident. I doubt it, mate.